What happens if a gold meteor crashes into Earth? Let's find out. Drop the gold! Oh! This giant gold meteor has smashed into Earth, and over the next 10 days, life on the planet will change more and more. Watch until the end to see if anything actually survives. Ah. Day one and yo, is that Mount Everest? Oh sh Bruh. Nah, nah, that's the gold meteor. Look how massive it is. Hey, hey, looks like we've got an explorer on site. Day two, and is it just me or the mountain looks a little shorter today? Yo, it's literally compressing because gold can't support its own weight at that size. Looks like our explorer bro has set up camp. Can you blame him though? He struck gold, literally. Day three and wow, look at this guy. Someone's gotten pretty rich from trading all that gold. Uh-oh, I guess it's hard to keep this place a secret because everyone and their grandma's coming to mine this gold. <laughs> Bro feels threatened, so he hired guards. Like, nah, bro, this is my gold. Day four and damn, now there are too many trespassers for the guards to keep in check. Hey, it's our guy. Ah. Yo, so Bro just said that he's opening a new program. Everyone's allowed to mine as long as they pay 50% of their gold to him as tax. I guess if you can't beat him, tax him. That's one way to make sure he stays on yeah. top. Damn, now that everyone's allowed to mine gold, it's getting taken everywhere, literally all over the planet. And now that these miners are rich, they're investing back in their cities and building them up. It's happening in the ice biome too, and even the mountains. Day five and wow, these greedy villagers already mined like half of this gold meteor. I'm not surprised though. Look at this place, definitely went through some upgrades. Yo, 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 what's going on? You see that? Things are floating. No way. So since gold is so much denser than the earth and a massive amount of gold has been spread around the earth, it's slowly compressing the earth and causing gravity to reverse. This is causing a bunch of structural damage in all the villages. Yo, is it just me? Or there's way less people working now. Yeah, yeah, yo, bro, why is everybody slacking off? Ah. No way. So basically, all the villagers are becoming too rich and nobody wants to work building jobs anymore. Hold up, hold up. What's going on here? Are they building a portal to the nether? No way. The villagers are invading the nether and capturing piglins. And they're forcing them to work labor jobs in the overworld. Except they aren't paying them any gold so the piglins can never get too rich. Day six and damn! I guess the piglins are tired of working for free. They're starting a revolution for equal rights. Oh, <laughs> these villagers are savages. They're trying to gas the piglins and stop the protest. All right, well, that means war. Damn! The villagers might have better gear, but now they're actually outnumbered by the piglins. They made a new law. Piglins can finally earn gold and buy land. Everything seems like it's back to normal for now, but won't the piglins just get too rich and lazy too now? Yeah, 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 yo! It's the rich villager! Boy looks stressed! Let's follow him. Ah. No way! Bro's an economist and he just said that once the gold meteor gets completely depleted, gold is gonna become more common than rocks! It's gonna be worthless! Wait, who's that? Ah. No way! So this guy's an environmentalist! He says that the planet's compressing. If the rest of the meteor gold spreads around the planet, then the planet will compress so much, creating so much more damage that will require more labor, labor that they don't have. Uh-oh. Looks like no matter what, the gold mining is a problem. Day seven and damn! The rich villager declared that mining the gold asteroid is illegal now, and he built a huge prison around it to keep everyone out. Instead, everyone's getting a paper certificate for every gold nugget that they own. All right, all right. Seems like a logical and fair system, right? Yo! The rich villager's got a bigger army than ever. Are those nukes? Bro, he's got a super yacht too now? This guy's expanding his city more than ever. How's he paying for all this? Hey, psh, you're his accountant, right? So what's the deal? How's he paying for all this? Ah. No way. Basically, since the rich villager controls how many paper certificates there are, he started printing as many paper certificates as he needed to buy whatever he wanted. In other words, the paper certificates no longer represent the gold. Everybody's been duped. 
Yikes! If the other villagers find out about this, they're gonna start a world war. Uh, this guy seems like a nerd. I'm gonna just give him creative mode for a second. And, yo, fix this. What's he doing? Yo, you better not be abusing this power. Looks like he's modding something. What's this? Ah. Damn! So he coded some kind of digital token. Basically, everybody gets the same amount to start with. And anytime anybody spends one of their tokens, everybody's account gets updated. So nobody can pull any shady business. Except, wait a second. Can't you just code more of these digital tokens? Ah. Interesting. He said once I take away his creative mode, nobody can make more of these tokens. Makes sense. Well, this is cool and all, but seriously, who's gonna value their digital tokens more than real gold? <laughs> the rich villagers are literally giving away their digital tokens for a slice of pizza. Oh my. Ooh, what's this? The poor villagers and piglins are starting to use the digital tokens to do small jobs for each other. Look, this guy's helping fix this guy's house. Day eight and damn, OG rich villagers stressing out. Ah. Wow, bro just announced that the digital tokens are illegal and anybody who uses them is going to jail. Oh, this prison filled up real quick. Damn, now people are literally giving away all of their paper for more digital tokens. Wow, bro is desperate. He's giving away all of the meteor gold for free to try and make the people want it again. Uh-oh, the damages are getting worse and still nobody's accepting gold as payment anymore. They only want digital coins. <laughs> no. The environmentalists just said that in two days, the compression of the planet is gonna stop and everything that's floating in the air is gonna drop with extreme force. In other words, mass extinction for life on Earth. Day nine and the compression of the Earth is getting real bad. Water's literally flooding everything. <laughs> Bro's mansion is completely wrecked. It's gonna take a lot of labor to fix that. Too bad he can't afford it. <laughs> Damn, those so-called poor villagers, now they're the new rich ones because they got all the digital coins. Looks like they're building some kind of massive bunker. Oh, well look who it is. Bro is offering to sell all his gold at a discount. How much is he gonna get for that though? No! He only got one digital token for all of his gold? That's how much he spent on a slice of pizza. Remember? Ah. Bro says he wants a spot inside the doomsday bunker too. Ah. Wow! The accountant said he's gotta work for his spot like everyone else. Day 10 and ah! everything collapsed all at once. And damn, it all melted into plasma. Yo, the earth is brighter than the sun right now. Yo, Earth's atmosphere is getting pushed off into space. Gravity's way more intense than before since the Earth's way more dense now. Look, even all the birds are getting crushed. Help me. Wow, after everything settled, the entire Earth got covered by water. How about the villagers though? Even if they survive that, there's no way they can live on the Earth's surface anymore. No, the doomsday bunker is still intact. These rooms are tiny though. Yo, they're all uploading themselves to some kind of VR sets. To where though? Damn, this must be heaven. Yo, 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 it's the homie. No way, their digital coins are real coins inside this new digital world. <laughs>